Now to our other top story. Get ready, Jacksonville. Your new property taxes are going up, and you will soon receive a notice in the mail informing you how much that increase will be. A property appraiser is about to mail out what are called trim notices, a first look at what your property tax bill could be this year. Today, city council members met to begin discussing how the city will spend all those tax dollars that will be collected. News for Jack reporter Jim Pickett was at that meeting joining us live from the South Bank. Jim, why the increase? Well, I think first off, it's important to note that this is not anything that the city council did. It's something we did about a year ago. If you remember at that time, we voted to increase the tax in order to give teachers more pay and to better our schools. And so now it's time to pay up. And another thing too, our property values have gone up as well. So your tax bill is going to go up. Today at a city council budget hearing, I was able to talk to the, the new tax collector, or excuse me, the new property appraiser, Joyce Morgan, and asked her about these tax bills. Well, when they get their trim notice, the first thing we want them to do is read it completely. Just, you know, really assess it. And then the second thing is you'll probably notice just a slight bump in your tax liabilities. And because of that, a lot of it has to do with what we voted on? Uh yes, what we voted on for the school board, we voted on one mil. So you'll, you'll see a little bump. And, you know, so today the city council began talking about and debating how they're going to spend some of that money. That is the city council finance committee. And on this first day of budget hearings, they talked to two of the major city departments, the sheriff's department and the fire department. And each of them want more employees. And it looks like they're going to get it. This is the largest budget in Jacksonville's history. Nearly $2 billion of tax dollars will be divided up among city departments and agencies. The city is looking to spend nearly $450 million for fire and rescue protection. With new fire stations being built and others opening, there's 132 new positions, and these people have to be paid. Are you surprised by anything in this budget? I mean, obviously, it's your budget. You're getting, are you getting what you want? Absolutely. The mayor and her staff funded exactly what we needed to keep this community safe. We have to look forward, project forward in our in our budgets. We've projected forward in this budget. In the CIP, you'll see some stations that are projected out to deal with the growth that's going to be occurring on the west side in the very near future. So we have everything we need to keep this community safe, and, as long, and we'll just continue every year to provide for that going forward. And Sheriff T.K. Waters was also telling council what he needs and taking questions from them. In his nearly $600 million budget, it looks like he will get his 40 new officers and money to pay for 40 others whose federal funding is running out this year. He also was questioned about the number of officers retiring. We're doing really well. The attrition rate has dropped um, significantly per month. And um, I think that's just because of things that are the way we're moving forward, how things are, how things are happening. And one thing that is happening is talks to move the jail. Obviously, like I said, it, it's going to pass with no problem, but is it enough? And, and you were talking, you were also talking about the jail. It looks like things are improving there as well, at least with corrections officers. But is this enough? Um, it's going to have to be enough for now. Um, and I think as we move forward, we're going to ask, we're going to continue to ask for more. Our, um, our jail, the building itself, has outlived its usefulness. Council President Ron Salem has put together a special committee to look at the jail situation, and they're going to address that this year. And I'll tell you, that's going to be some expensive move if that were to happen or what's happening with that. A couple of other things, too. The council will be going over Deegan's plan for their transition team and that money as well. But all of this will have to be approved by the full council probably at the end of September. For now, we're live on the South Bank. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.